Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Make It Make, where I always try to encourage you guys, if you can't get it to make, then make it make. And guess what? <gasps> I got a chicken coop. Oh my gosh, it's here. This is the first time I'm looking at it. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my gosh. So awesome. I'm so excited. I could cry. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, here we go. Here is my chicken coop. I'm going to do the whole 360 view of it. I don't know if I can get around here. Here's the back. It's built very well. Let me actually go around the other side. Coming around the other side. I am really pleased with how this was made. So one of the things that I really like about this chicken coop and I was impressed with is that it is made with all repurposed wood. And um, it came from panels that somebody broke apart and put together and made a chicken coop. So I know that, that was really hard work because it's a lot of work to rip apart panels and make something with it. Plus, because of that, it has a really nice rustic feel to it. I love how all the panels are a different color. Um, I mean, I love that. I love that look. I do kind of want to paint it too at the same time. <laughs> so I'm kind of torn between the two. It's like, should I keep it this gorgeous rustic color that I love or should I paint it? I'm not sure yet. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. The other nice thing with this coop is that it has a really nice wide open door for cleaning. So I love that space. I might end up putting a lip here at the bottom um, just because I'm thinking about doing the deep litter method. I'm not quite sure yet, but I, I think that's the route I'm gonna go. But I love how wide the door is open and that's just gonna make it really easy for me to clean out. One of the things that I didn't even think about with this coop until a friend pointed it out to me was the space that's underneath it. Um, you know, like how the chickens, they can go and hang out underneath. I can, I'm probably gonna put my, my food there as well for them. And you know, the fact that it's high up, that the air can get underneath it with the weather and helps out with predators. I love how this chicken coop has a little door for the chickens to come out and it also has a bigger door for cleaning. So I have this cute little stoop that also came with my coop and that's gonna go right here. That way when I open the door, the chickens will come out and then I have a ramp over here that'll connect to this side right here. Right now, I'm not really assembling this coop at this point with all this stuff yet because I still have um, two two by fours on each side. I'll show you the other one. And that was because this was a way for us to get it off the truck because this thing is massively heavy. The first thing I did with my coop as I did with any other coop I look at is check out the nesting box. It's just my favorite part of the coop as I'm sure it is for everybody because you're like, what's there today? Is there going to be something new? But I'm pretty pleased with the way this one turned out. There aren't any dividers in it, which I'm completely okay with that. And um, they tend to nest and lay um, in the same one anyway, so it's not a big deal. I also decided I'm going to put the chicken coop where the old oak tree was. I mean, the stump that was there was grinded up and created this non-treated mulch, which is perfect for chickens. And since they're gonna tear up the grass anyway, I figured why not put it there instead of putting them on new pasture. It was just perfect. And as you could see, it's a really huge area and space for them. So, I'm, you know, it, it really ended up working out. That's pretty much what's going on with my chicken coop at this point. I won't be putting it out until the spring 
like I said, because I have some fencing and some other things that I want to take care of, you know, leveling that area out a little bit and still torn about painting it or not. Plus I've got some other projects going on as well. So the timing would just be better in the spring. Um, one of the projects I have are these little guys. I thought I'd show you. They're so sweet. There, see if I can get one. Oh, I did. <laughs> we hatched out 37 quail. And they're looking really good. This is our highest hatch rate yet. We had um, 58 eggs go into the incubator and, you know, and we had uh, 37 hatch out, which was great. So I'm excited about that. I get another thing that's going on, but don't worry, we'll get the chicken started and plenty of videos will be coming up on that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, definitely comment. And as always guys, take care and God bless.